Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and this is just a quick video. It's just an update video for you on the lineup of the planets. It's early 2025 and we've got a bit of a lineup um, going into February of all the planets. Yeah, we've got Venus. In fact, Venus is this one. <laughs> you see this bright speck behind me? Venus. You might just be able to see Saturn as well. It's somewhere around about there. It's very close to Venus at the moment and yes so we've got a cracking lineup of planets at this time of year and it continues into February and possibly into March I'm not too sure so we've got Venus Saturn and we've also got the outer planet the ice planets Uranus and um, Neptune although you can't actually see them with the naked eye so they don't really count but we do have if I can show you up there can you see that there that's Jupiter and if you look down this way over there we're now looking sort of towards the northeast that planet there is Mars so we can actually see <clears throat> we can actually see four bright planets at the moment and um, if you're looking at this in February it might be a little bit different because I, I do believe that Venus and Saturn are going to switch sides so Saturn will be on the other side of Venus so it does depend when you're looking at this what you'll actually see so what I thought I'd do in this video is I've got my camera here and uh, I'm gonna just pan around and just give you an idea of what I can see at the moment now just bear in mind that when you're watching this video it might things might be a little bit different and also remember the media are blowing this up they're saying oh well you can see all the planets in a line oh well, you can see oh and they're talking about the outer planets as well which I mentioned before Neptune and Uranus which yes you can see them but you do need really need a telescope to be able to see those so in a way they don't really count there's also another planet which we can't see at the moment at least not where I am at my latitude and that's Mercury so Mercury is a little bit too close to the sun to be able to see at the moment but let's have a little look at what we can see because the planet show at the moment is actually pretty good so let's go onto the other camera and we'll see what we can see okay so I'm filming this at around about half past six UK time and I'm now looking roughly towards the the south western sky and hopefully you can see this it might be a little bit a little bit dark for you but uh, we've actually got Venus there in the middle of the in the middle of the screen so what I might need to do is zoom in so that you can see Saturn just in case you can't see Saturn so let's zoom in a little bit and I'll show you Saturn if you want to see a bit more of Saturn watch the video I did a, um, I think it was a couple of weeks ago now where I actually took a photograph of Saturn and I managed to get the rings so here's a little bit of a close-up for you hope you can see that now you can see Saturn there to the left of Venus it's nowhere near as bright as Venus. I mean Venus really really stands out it stands out so much Venus because it's uh, it's really really bright it's the brightest planet we can see and of course it's close it's close to the Sun as well and uh, it's actually about the same size as Earth roughly Earth is a little bit bigger a bit more massive Though these two planets at the moment do look quite close together in the sky, they're nowhere near <laughs> close together in real life. They're many millions of miles apart. So I'll just zoom out from them now. You can see some lights on the horizon there. That's a gas rig out in, in uh, I think it's off the, the coast of Wales. So what I'll do now is we'll pan round. I just want to show you a little bit of the southern horizon because when I point this way you might see a bit of a glow that way <clears throat> see those lights on the horizon well those lights are Southport yeah it's just it's just up from Liverpool yeah Southport Merseyside so that glow that you can see down that way there is is caused by the the lights of um, Southport but I'll carry on I'll come round now hopefully as we look this way you might just be able to see Orion I'm not sure if you, I, I, I can't see it on the screen but hopefully you can see Orion that's the constellation of Orion rising there and uh, if I pan the camera up so let's pan it up now hopefully we'll see the king of planets Jupiter up here there you go now that 
is Jupiter, the king of planets. So that's, we're now looking towards the southeast now. So we started at the southwest with Venus and Saturn, and we're now looking quite a bit higher up as well, by the way, because at the moment, Jupiter, I would guess that it's around about two thirds of the way up the sky. Yeah, so it's quite, it's quite a bit higher up than, oh, we've got a helicopter, is that a helicopter? Oh, look at this. Can you see that there? I think that, that, that must be a helicopter going into Blackpool. Oh, it's a plane. I thought it was. <laughs> anyway, I've lost the focus now. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a picture of Orion because I think that that might just be a little bit easier for you to see. So we'll take a picture of Orion. I'll take a snapshot of Orion now so that you can see Orion, the famous winter constellation. Oh, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of play. <laughs> There are a lot of plane trails in the sky. Look at that. Oh, that's a mess, folks. Oh, my goodness. The sky is all messed up. With... Yeah, I can actually see them now. I'm looking at them now, and yeah, there's a lot of plane trails there, and you can just about see... Can you see that? Look at the way that those jet trails have just messed up all the sky there. You know, that really does my head in that, you know. And we've just got, if you look at the very top of the picture, we've just got Jupiter. I'll tell you what, let's take another one where we can just get, where we can get Jupiter in as well. So let's try and include Jupiter, shall we? Okay, so there's another picture now. And uh, this time I've managed to include a bit more of the, the upper part of the sky. And we've got Jupiter there. Now, I'm just going to zoom in on Jupiter a bit for you because I want to show you that Jupiter, at the moment, as I'm filming this video, is very, very close to the Hyades um, cluster which is part of Taurus. And if you look just lower right of Jupiter, you'll see a red star. That star is called Aldebaran. And it's the eye of the bull. Yeah, the eye of the bull. I'll just show you a close-up. I'm gonna take another picture where I'm gonna do a close-up of that, just so you can see it a bit better. But yeah, the eye of the bull. She was a little bit out of focus, that one. Can you tell? A bit soft. So let's take another one, shall we? That was a little bit soft, that picture there then. You know, sometimes it's not a bad idea to take a picture of stars out of focus because you can actually see. Sometimes you can actually see the stars better when you defocus an image because it actually spreads out the light of the star and it makes it a little bit more visible. So it's not always a bad idea to take an out of focus picture, but I'm gonna put the uh, the in focus picture on now. So there you go, there's Jupiter there. Nice and bright in the frame. And if you look to the side, the right there, you can see there's like a V that's on its side. It's, it's sort of lent down on its left hand side. We've still got those jet trails getting in the way. But there you go, that's where Jupiter is at the moment. It might be in a different position by the time you see this video but that's where it is at the moment. So now we're gonna go on to another planet. We're gonna go on to the red planet, Mars. Got another plane up here, look. Look, we've got planes all over the place tonight. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. It's just gone right past Mars, that plane. <laughs> what are they doing flying at this time of night? I thought the airport was closed. But anyway, that plane literally just flew past <laughs> Mars. That's Mars there, can you see it? And something else interesting about Mars at the moment is that um, it's actually just below the two stars, Castor and Pollux, which are the heads of Gemini. Those two stars there that are just above Mars, can you see? At the moment, as I'm filming this video, are Castor and Pollux, and those represent the, t the heads of the twins of Gemini. So there you go, isn't that amazing? So we've got Jupiter, which is in Taurus, and we've got Mars here, which is um, in Gemini, or maybe just outside Gemini, very, very, almost in line with those two stars there, very bright stars, Castor and Pollux, which represent the twins. And what I'll do now is we'll just try and take a picture and see if we can get a picture, a proper picture there. Okay, so there you go, I've just taken a picture of Mars there. It's quite obvious. In the frame there, as you can see, it's the brightest speck there. But as you look just up from Mars, the uh, the jet trails are ruining the picture a little bit. But those two stars there are the heads of Gemini. It's a little bit hard to make out the rest of the constellation, actually, of Gemini, because it is quite faint. It's only those two stars there 
that are really obvious. But uh, there you go. We've managed to get Venus, Saturn, Jupiter and Mars. So that was a bit of an update video for you just to keep you informed about the, the great lineup of the planets 2025. But um, yeah, so when it comes to the media, just be careful and don't fall for the hype when they say that you can see all these planets, like obviously the ones I was talking about before, Uranus and Neptune. You do need a telescope to see those. But keep watching my videos. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to get my telescope out and I'm going to see if I can actually photograph those planets. Now, I did photograph Saturn. Um, a couple of weeks ago I managed to get some fairly rough pictures of it remember that the rings of Saturn are closing they're actually closing they're going to be level with us they're going to be we're going to be looking at the rings sort of edge on in March so you might not even be able to see the rings of Saturn but I'm going to um, use my telescope and see if I can get pictures of as many planets as I can and uh, I've never actually attempted to photograph Uranus and Neptune. I've never tried to photograph them. I've got flip pictures of all the other planets, but I've never tried to take a picture of those. So watch out for that if I manage to get a chance to do it. But I'm certainly going to have a go. I'm going to be following the, the, the closure of the rings of Saturn up until March as well. So watch out for that. But that's it for this video. It's just a quick update video just to let you know what's going on. And if you get a chance to go out and have a look at them yourself, you can see, uh, well, that's a plane. <laughs> that's a plane there's lots of planes flying around here uh yeah but we should still see venus venus is up there uh, up there i'm moving my hand the wrong way so there you go if you want to get a chance to see them yourself have a look outside and depends where you are you might be seeing them in a slightly different place to where i am depending on where you are in the world my latitude is 53 degrees north i'm northwest uk but that's what we can see at the moment and don't forget that you can see them. I think that plane's going into land. You can see them up until February. Yeah, they'll be switching positions as well as we go along. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. And don't forget to keep looking up.